Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Hylix with me, Atantuo. This, um, this game, it's, uh, an indie game that is supposed to be, uh, according to developer Mason Lindroth, whose name you should have been able to see for a brief moment at the beginning of the video. Uh, according to him, this is a recreational program with light JRPG elements. So I've really no idea what to expect. I've played less than five minutes of this game, only to see, like, uh, to check out the technical side of things, to to make sure everything works uh, in terms of sound and video quality. Um, yeah, about video quality, uh, there seems to be no way to increase the resolution and the game is running at uh, 640 by 480 right now so no HD unfortunately sorry about that um, but yeah um, let's just start this is what we get um, I'm moving around this weird black and white Dude. Oh, and actually, um, this is different from my test recording, so... A biscuit delicately blasts the lives the people witness far beyond a hope. It is a feeling inside a field. It is a apparel. A stride life. Meanwhile, Gibby, king of the moon, indulges a concavity below the, the science radiance. Thus, your story begins. Alright, um, yeah, that text was completely different from what I saw. Actually, I thought you had to interact with um, one of those objects there, but apparently it just... Uh, the text just appears after a set amount of time. So, and... yeah, that's that. Um... Act 1 begins as we flip the switch, and suddenly we are this well, unique looking person um, who has a cat, apparently. I wasn't sure from just looking at it, but it says meow, so it's probably a cat, right? That's how it works. Anyway, um, yeah, the other technical, I say, I'd say particularity of this game, uh, beside the low resolution, is um, there seems to be no gamepad support, which uh, actually surprises me a little bit. It might just be uh, an issue with my particular controller I'm, or my setup here. I'm using a, a DualShock 3 controller that should act exactly like a 360 controller, but the only thing that it does is uh, I can walk around but only with the left analog stick, not the D-pad, and no, none of the buttons do anything. So, um, for now, or and possibly for the entirety of the game, I am going to use the keyboard, um, moving with the arrow keys, and using um, spacebar to interact, like with my cat here, and C to open menus, or the menu, and to cancel. So let's first take a look. Our protagonist seems to uh, seems to be called Wayne. A pretty normal no a normal name for a not very normal looking guy. But then, in his world he might be perfectly normal. What do I know? As I said, basically nothing. I really only know that um, this game was really cheap on Steam when I bought it. And uh, it the, the screenshots just spoke to me. I'm into this really weird looking stuff. Um, like, really bizarre design and, you know. You, you're going to see a lot more of that. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, uh, so we have things here. Our items, basically. Um, or rather, we don't have any items yet. Wayne does have powers, or one power. Hypno sigils probably causes enemies to fall asleep. That doesn't sound too reassuring, but um, I guess putting enemies to sleep can be pretty useful. It uh, costs 30 of our will points, I'm assuming. Flesh probably being um, 
our HP. Um, getting dressed. We are currently wearing only a pistol. There's no bullets though, so <laughs> it's um, a melee weapon for now, I guess. A very small club. I don't know. Maybe we're going to find um, we're going to find bullets for it, but I kind of doubt it. So this is his dossier. Uh, we have mightiness. That seems relatively self-explanatory. Texture, not so much. Jollity. I've not. I don't even know what that word is. I have never seen it. I guess it's uh, the noun corresponding to jolly. Um, cooking. That seems to be very important for a uh, RPG protagonist. Guts, 30. Okay, that seems like vitality, endurance, that kind of thing. And philology. That's... Um, yeah, he's not, not really a philologist. Not yet, anyway. And he f is feeling wandering. Okay, I have not done a lot of wandering yet, but... Alright, and system... Um, yeah, there's not very much here. Um, auto dash is good. Instant text, uh, I'm going to leave it at normal for now. And I'm also going to show the battle animations. And yeah, so no options in terms of um, screen resolution, controls, or any of that. But it's all just all simple enough. Anyway, uh, let's get into the game, shall we? Uh, there is a suitcase with our life savings, 53 bucks. Uh, that's a little bit pathetic. I'll see what's on TV here. Oh, okay. Um, the usual stuff, I guess. Learned ablative or ab ablative? Holopleather. Oh my. That's, um, I have no idea. I don't even know. Is that, yeah, it's a, a power. Guards and heals 30% of flesh for 25 will points. Alright. Cool. Don't know what's up with that name, but I'll take it. Um, what are you guys? Bunny beetles? Bunny cockroaches? They're kind of cute. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Hey. Bzz, bzz. Okay. Normal beetle sounds. Hey, get, get out of the way. I want to check out my toilet. Warm burrito was found. Yum. Good thing I decided to look in there. Ugh. Toilet paper was found. Not surprisingly. What's with the bathtub? Oh, okay. Maybe you should bathe. Um, uh, sure. Your flesh and will were restored. Oh, nice. Okay, since... Yeah, there it really isn't a bedroom. And thus no bed, so I guess we heal by taking a bath. That's okay, I guess. Bye, cat. Oh, also, what is this? Um... It's brighter and it's spinning now? Huh. Okay. Uh, I guess. Yeah. This is about as far as I've... as I, uh, I had previously played. So this is all that I know of the game. Everything beyond this is blind. And um, immediately I feel like taking a stroll through a... I don't know, an abstract painting, like Dali or one of the many other abstract painters that I really don't know because I don't know very much about art. Um, let's check these trash cans here. You accidentally crushed it. All right. Um, yeah. Don't don't worry about it, dude. It, it happens to me all the time. These cheap aluminum trash cans. They they just don't make them the way they used to. Uh, this one also. Uh, this one. Um, this one produces a trash can lid for us. That's more useful. Let's see. It seems like either a shield or some kind of hat, although um, as a hat it might, we might have trouble fitting that on our particularly shaped head. I'm just going to optimize and actually toilet paper is an armor, huh? <laughs> Rudimentary body armor. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> 
toilet paper is really a about as rudimentary as you can get in terms of body armor. Um, I'm not even sure it adds any additional protection uh, over just bare skin, but, you know, maybe it at least covers your nakedness. <laughs> the trash can lids are mobilized in times of strife. Raises evasion rate by 10%. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. What are you? <clears throat> what are you? Ch -ch -ch -ch. Okay, little squirrel fox thing. And you, llama, alpaca, something. Please stop. Let me talk to you. Come on. Ah. Ooh wee! North. <laughs> North. Alright, yep, that's uh, how alpacas sound. Oh, wow. Acquired a vegetable. Cool. Oh, are these all going to be vegetables? Or are they just dying because I'm talking to them? No matter, I'm going to do it one way or the other. Uh, let's see here. Things. Vegetables. Oh, yeah, lots of vegetables. Uh, still no other items, though? Heals 50% of flesh and removes negative status. Wow, that's pretty good. And a warm burrito revives a dead ally and restores 50% of flesh. Oh, lucky we found that in our toilet. Well, let's not, let's not think about that particular fact too much. There is a dude dancing in our backyard. I assume he's dancing since that looks like kind of radio. Maybe? Um, hey, friend. To the northeast is the plastic city of... Oh my god. Big Philinerpon. What? Big Philinerpon? I really hope I don't have to pronounce that name too many more times. May its ocean endure a thousand years. What does the ocean have to do with the city itself, necessarily? Hmm. Alright, okay, this map seems to be relatively small. Yep. But I think I've seen something here. Yes, I have. Whoa, there's 47 bucks in here. That's almost as much as Wayne's entire life, life savings. Alright, and this is our world map, looks like. I had seen this one on a screenshot, and I was not sure what to make of it, but yeah, it uh, absolutely makes sense as a world map. So what is this? A mysterious tower. Indeed. I don't seem to be able to interact with it anymore. Um, up here? Northeast, right? That should be... Oh my god, I don't even want to say the name, even if I could remember it. So, it looks pretty big and important, so I'm not going to check that out quite yet. Um, there seems to be no way to interact with that floodgate down there. Oh, what is this? Oh, we have our own boat, or we stole it? I don't know. But apparently uh, we can't go anywhere yet. Um, so long as, that's, as that gate remains closed. So, what's this? This is um, a place, I guess. We can only move on these uh, walkways here. Do not touch the ambulance skulls or you will die. Alright. No skull touching. To initiate warp, make contact with the central node. Unauthorized access is discouraged. Thank you for understanding. Okay. Um, is that a person? Oh, well, he's moving. Um, what is that? Th is that a skull? Is that one of the ambulance skulls that I'm supposed to not touch? Sustain thine corrosion. It destroys inside my bad fate. Okay, I'm not dead, so he's probably not one of them. The warp access is currently infested. The creatures fear the dotted red line and will not cross it. Enjoy your time in the warp axis. Well, thanks, sign. Okay. Infested with those... Those things? 
I'm supposed to touch the central node? Access warp? Yeah? Sure. Warp where? Oh my. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. But that should be clear. Oh. This is a, an entirely different, much larger scale world map. Interesting. Um, can I walk back? I feel that I have not really um, explored the previous area as much as I probably should have. What is this? Found a paper cup. How lucky. What is this cubic brain? Nothing. Okay. Things. Um, and key thing is a paper cup. Mysterious glyphs and vegetal motifs adorn its smooth surface. Alright. That sounds mysterious. Can we walk back? Um, looks like it. Also, let's run into one of these guys, right? Why not? Okay. So, this is... Um, yeah, it looks like a pretty standard JRPG fighting system, battle system. Uh, we can attack, guard, use our specials or our things. Oh, wait. What was that? Oh, I guess I might be dead. I just pushed right. And that seemed to do something. Um, this might be bad. I, uh, I was going to say that um, there I don't see an option to run. Um, huh. Special. Maybe I should try to... Uh, should I try to put them to sleep or should I heal? Man. I guess uh, if I die... Yeah, all falls, please. If I die, I can just start over. No effect. Um, one of them fell asleep, I think. Okay, I'm still alive somehow. Let's see here. Uh, I didn't quite catch whether... The middle one fell asleep? The first one didn't, though, I think. I'm not sure about the third one. Uh, let's see here. Things. Should I use... This... Hmm... I'm usually not... I'm usually hesitant to use any resources, but I have so many of them. I'm also somehow dead. Interesting. Wayne was slain. Oh! Okay, for a moment there I thought the game just continued, but no. Oh no, not at all. Huh, so those seem to be horns. I was wondering about that. <laughs> um, also, this is not a game over screen. So, this is the afterlife. Yeah, I guess so. I didn't expect it to be like this, but then again, I don't know what I expected. Feel free to crash on the couch. Oh, thanks, buddy. Take a nap? Um, not yet, I guess. You can use the machine over there to convert any meat you've found into flesh points. Flesh points. I don't think I've found any meat, though. Nope. That's unfortunate. What is this? Touch an active crystal to tether the portal. Okay. The executive balcony is down the stairs. Only those who have died three times are allowed there. You need to die two more times. I don't know if that's really so... Um, that's really something you want to happen. Huh. Alright. Gasp! You can build sandcastles on the beach. Try using the spacebar. Um, should I... Should I help you into the, the ocean, or... Are you alright? Oh! <laughs> wow, that's... Um, yes. Toss them in. Toss them right in. And I can actually build sandcastles. How nice. Um... Okay. That's kinda neat. Don't know what that does, but it's, um... Oh. Oh, and I can... Ah, that's neat. I can run through them and destroy my own sandcastles. I mean, as long as it's... as they're my own. 
Uh, I can't do that. That's fine. Doing it with other people's sandcastles is not okay, though. Uh, what are you? I cannot seem to talk to you. Nope. He seems to briefly turn my way, but uh, he doesn't speak. Hot dog was found. Yum. Inside whatever that was. Uh, so hot dogs do... Oh, heal the whole party. Um, oh. Okay, I'm alive with one HP right now, or one flesh. Um, what are you? I think I can hear a TV set behind this wall. If I had dynamite, I could break through. Um, well, I would give him dynamite, but I don't have any. Well, I'll be here then. Alright, good to know. Cool, so that seems to be about all I can do here. Apart from touching that one active crystal. So let's do that. See if we can just return to the world of the living. Um, I... I touched it. Oh yeah, portal is now active. And we are transported home. Still pretty dead though. So I'm going to take a nice bath here. Nice cold and refreshing bath, I'm assuming. Like iced water. Alright, that first battle didn't really go quite as planned. Also, do all of these plants, these vegetables, just regrow? That's pretty amazing. Yep, sure do. I mean, alright, in that case, I really don't need to hold on to those. Um, I mean, I can just use them. I really should, I guess. Not that it would have helped me a lot in that previous situation. Um, I guess I'll not go there yet. Maybe I'm really supposed to check out the city first. Be something something. Wow, that name. The big city, I guess. <clears throat> hey there. Chill amidst their pain, deceived inside theirs. Okay, I will do that. Thanks for the advice. Hey, a trash can. Found meat. Nice, something to grind. It's... <laughs> I was gonna say, it's maybe a little hard to tell which of these are just weird... Uh, I don't know, sculptures? and Which are the inhabitants? But the inhabitants move, so it's easy to tell, actually. Hey, you. Ahead lies Mount Chipothex. Wait, no, that's not what it says at all. Kayetpothex. Beware of the wicked cone cultists. Alright. Cultists bad. Gotcha. Vacuums, like, crudely hideous. Think so? I don't know. Can vacuum really be hideous? Okay. Oh, wow. Sorry, I didn't mean to destroy whatever that was. That couch, maybe? And more of these things that I can't seem to interact with. Welcome to Big Philaner... Big... Big... Big Philaner Pond. Big Philaner Pond. The Plastic City. It's not that the name is, like, super difficult to pronounce. It's just so weird. It doesn't sound good. I grow the insects. Oh, these are insects, then? Alright. Do they repeat themselves? No, they don't. This death beside concavity. That's concavity's feeling. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. Deceive offending. Governments shrunken. Welcome to... Okay. I was gonna say, are those utterings just randomly generated? I mean, they still might be. Uh, there's a stick of dynamite in the box. Wow. Of course I take it. I mean... <laughs> a lesser game might have given me the choice, and which I would obviously still have accepted. So... Since this game knows that, it just gave it to me. Now I have dynamite for that dude in afterlife place. Should I ever die again, which is highly unlikely, but you know, I might die on purpose just to get there again. Out of fatal fire or despite clan, who can arrogantly impede that dirt of creature? Uh, what? Is any person here going to say something coherent and uh, helpful? Ever? 
who greatly non-smeared its concavity. Horribly chill your platinum doom. Pardon far beyond their product. She dances thine wandering wheel, yet gland banished thine life. Who's considering below her vent? Who approaches the ocean beside our memory? It is totally her nerve. Um, okay. I guess I'm done talking to that person. I'm sort of working it. Good for you. Destroy Truthish! Oh yeah, destroy it. I'm avenging it. You keep on doing that, buddy. Uh, what have we here? More trash? Oh, actual trash this time. No item. Oh, this? Okay. Uh, juice box was found. Yay! Sorry about taking your juice box, buddy. That's just how I roll. Recovers 75 will. 80% <laughs> juice, 20% box. That's um, pretty normal, I guess. If you want to use the tub, it's gonna be 25 bucks. Uh, no. I got my own tub back home. You stink. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Still, 25 bucks are a little steep at, at the moment. In worm or despite dirt? What will extrude her world of shrunken skeleton? I have no idea, man. I've been wondering that for... forever. Hoist insectish. Okay. Arrogantly castigate memory-ish. Memory-ish. Another crystal. Let's activate. You can learn special abilities from the televisions which are scattered throughout this realm. Ah, okay, I get I get it. So, uh, dynamite enables me to learn a new ability. Cool. Nice. So, some people do say, um, like, intelligible things. That's really good to know. The Knight Pongorma is said to be immune to the deadly touch of ambulance skulls. Ah, okay. I've not really met those ambulance skulls, but I have been warned about them. So, I guess I should fight the Knight Pongorma? Oh, he resides on an island to the west, behind a sealed door. Um, another door? Or that, like, floodgate that I've seen? Oh, we'll see. An island to the west. Okay, thanks, buddy. When fighting a flesh tash, you must attack, then rest, and then guard, lest you suffer the creature's repost. Attack, rest, guard. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll remember that. Probably not. Flesh tasks. Fear their repost. I'll try to remember. Let's pilot vent delicately. Okay, and he's... No, he's... Uh, it's more zesty engine than flesh now. Okay. And after they've said whatever useful thing they had to say, apparently they resort to random... Random nonsense, like everybody else. What is this nice little potted plant here? Or potted animal, for all I can tell. And this is a banana shop, if I had to guess? Oh no, armor. Okay, that was my next guess. My armors will raise your maximum flesh points. Some have additional bonuses. Behold their magnificence. Oh, so armor increases HP. That makes sense. That's one way to... Uh, I mean, it really makes no difference whether you increase your armor and lose less HP or just increase your maximum hit points. Uh, the effect will be ultimately the same. My armors will raise... Oh, I already read that. Some have additional bonuses. Okay. Yes. Um, I have a hundred bucks. That's right. Okay. Life savings plus uh, trash can money. Torso shell... Looks like it can take about one or two hits. Okay, that should be one or two hits more than my toilet paper. Combat bell. Giant metal dome apparel. Too large to be worn with any other armor. Alright. It... Hmm. <coughs> Okay, um, I guess it says uh, to the right there how much better it is than my currently equipped. Or it might be the total, I don't know. 
I'm assuming it is the increase, though. Um, I don't know, man. Should I invest in this? But it says that it can't be worn with any other armor. That kind of makes me a little bit worried. I'm going to buy the cheaper one. That might have been strictly necessary. But um, I guess I'll feel a little better with some more... Some better armor. Um, no, that's not it. Get dressed, please. Uh, optimize, yeah. Okay, now I got 75. Yeah, that's 10 more HP. Okay, that's how it works. Um, let's see here. I have slots for uh, a deflector, crown garb, and accoutrement. 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 Alright, so I don't know what exactly that uh, bell is uh, that bell would prevent me from wearing but anyway I'm going to sell the toilet paper I guess for two bucks maybe not worth it but whatever all right let's not spend too much more time in there this might be an armor shop uh, no a uh, weapon shop no maybe have you heard about our bleak cellophane? I have not, no. Okay, um, the clerk describes this as a mil-spec biomod. Allows wearer to wield two weapons. Oh, interesting. Bad juju. Formed into a nugget for easy portability. How convenient. 20% of wearer's normal attacks inflict poison status. Huh, bleak cellophane. Prevents blind status. Okay, I guess these are accoutrements, but they're way out of my money league right now. At least, uh, I mean, bleak cellophane isn't too far out of it, but still. Um, not right now, I guess. What have we here? Instead of microwave. It really is. <laughs> um, yeah, but I don't have one. All right. Okay. I guess if I find a frozen burrito, it's either going to be unusable as is, or going to be way less effective. So I can turn it into a regular burrito using a microwave, which makes a lot of sense. I mean, I guess uh, frozen burritos, or burritos in general, are really a very um, American thing. Um, I don't know, maybe other countries have them, but uh, over here in Europe or in Germany in particular, um, those are really... we really only know those from um, mentionings in like uh, US TV shows and, and the like. Frozen burritos! Oh, and he... oh wait, oh they can be effective projectiles. Feel safe when you walk outside. Alright, that explains that I guess. So much for my theory. Uh, maybe used as a projectile. Heat up in a microwave to create semi-edible food item. <laughs> semi-edible. Oh, and a dynamite is 5,000 bucks. Wow. Okay. That seems pretty good, but for that price, I would never, never use it in a fight. That se just seems way too valuable. Juice boxes. Alright, okay. Yeah, um, I'm assuming that I will be getting lots more money um, later on in the game but right now all of these things just seem so expensive hey buddy the cult permits nothing to leave Kayat the what cone cult cone cultists um, in this way they hope to promote a reverse erosion do they now um, okay. What are these things? Ribcage antennae? Maybe? My crystal sustenance may lament and concavity thrums the spirit. Okay. And this is our Mount Kayapathex. Alright. And these, oh yeah, those uh, look like cone cultists. I'm hoping that these are... Um, what I'm supposed to be fighting at this point? Oh, also I'm not healed completely, but that's fine. 
Um, let's see, if I just attack... Okay, Cone Cultists, uh, Cone Statue. Oh man, I'm just going to go ahead and attack the Cone Cultist. Um, wait, did it blind me? I, wow, these battle messages are coming in pretty quickly. Not sure I'm a fan. Cone Statue. Maybe I should actually be using my um, Hypno Sigils. Let's try to pay attention here. No effect. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Okay, only the first one is not asleep. That is quite reassuring. And I evaded his attack. That's great. I'm going to heal. Not using an item. I really should have used one of my plentiful vegetables. They all remain asleep. Okay, let's kill that one. And I miss, of course. They are still sleeping. Please hit him. Okay, 16 damage. He's not dead. Okay, one of them woke up. Um, oh, okay. It says so... Um, there's a little ZZZ icon under their name. That is really convenient. So... Let's maybe kill that guy? Nope. Not at all. Please. Okay. So, they can be killed. I'm also getting relatively close to death, speaking of getting killed. Um, I have enough to put them to sleep once more. Please work. Oh god. Yep. Okay. I'm dead. I should have healed, probably, but... Wow, I mean, it, I feel so weak right now. Maybe I should have encountered another party member at this point? There seems to be room for at least four? That would certainly help. Also, a better weapon, maybe? I don't know. Also, yeah, I, I wasn't healed up completely, so that might have something to do with it. Uh, let's use the meat grinder here, see what this is all about. Deposited one meat into the grinder. Your maximum flesh rose two points. Oh, that's how it works. Okay, nice. I can just increase my flesh. Also, what does this do? Is this just a healing? Take a nap. Amid the lilies floats the moth, the mole along his galleries goeth in the dark earth. Your flesh and will were restored. Nice. Okay, cool. Alright, yeah, and this is the... Um, I activate this. And the color also changes. Oh, wait. Ah, damn it. I'm so dumb. Ah, I completely forgot about the guy with his... Um, the guy who needed the dynamite. Oh, man. That sucks. Just a little bit. Uh, where is the easy way down from here. Who are you? Did I speak to you? Time to bleed the deaths. Okay, yeah. Time to do so indeed. Oh, I guess I didn't really go here. Ah, no, I did not. No, wait, I did, but the... Um... Right, I came this way before. I did not enter here, I don't think. Let's see what this is. Uh, need an instrument for stabbing. Oh, here's the weapon shop. I probably don't have it, have enough to buy something, but we'll see. Stabbing or bludgeoning? If so, you've come to the right place. I am... Um... Oh, wow, I can actually afford this. Yeah, I mean, the other ones are quite obviously way beyond my means right now. But I'll gladly take the bat. Thank you very much. Um... I can... Okay, I cannot um, sell stuff I have currently equipped. That makes sense. That's pretty normal. Um, let's optimize. Okay. A little bit more attack power should definitely help. And I'm going to sell the pistol for five bucks. Sure, why not? And um, that might have been everything for this city. I think so. I've been in here... Or have I? Yeah, I think I have. No, no, I'm pretty sure, yes. Alright. <coughs> um, 
Yeah. No. No, no, no. Um... I, I know where I need to go now. Kind of. I mean, the, all that is assuming that um, going to the going to the mountain right now is the right thing to do, since there is really nothing. <laughs> I mean, there was no no kind of story introduction or anything, unless you count that very weird bit before we got dropped into Wayne's house um, as story exposition. And uh, yeah, so no directions at all, but since there's only a limited number of places we can go, I'm going to go ahead and assume that this is the right place to go. It's basically a 50-50. Well, I'm also back down to 52 out of 77 health. Um, am I missing something? How did that happen? Oh, 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 I see. Get dressed. If you optimize, it probably counts as technically um, unequipping your current armor, which reduces your hit points. And re-equipping, even though it seems to be um, instant, yeah. Initially, it, that must be the case, since it's 50 or 50 starting health plus 2 from the meat grinder. So, that's a little bit unfortunate, but... Okay. Anyway, um, I was going to save... Right. Okay, not much information there at all in the save file display. But that's fine. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. We'll try again next time. Um, and that guy seems to be out for me. So, yeah. Um, this is That's it for this episode. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, my video and this game, it seems pretty neat. Very, very bizarre and unique. Trippy. Uh, I like it. And I'm looking forward to next episode. So, um, I hope to see you there. And... Uh, until then, have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.